Hey, what's up guys? This is Saren here at my home in beautiful South Carolina. Um, I wanted to do a video for the entrepreneurs out there. Um, I can't raise your hand, I can't see your hands raised or anything, but I'm sure I probably got a few of you guys watching this video right now. And I want to tell you a quick little story of kind of uh, where I've come from and how I developed into the entrepreneur that I am now. And maybe you can get something out of this. The topic that we're going to talk about in just a few minutes here is dealing with the tough days because as an entrepreneur uh, there are a lot of tough days there are a lot of days that you might struggle emotionally or, or physically or whatever it might be because it's hard work it's actually um, harder than most people think because it can be it's not just a nine to five thing it's not just necessarily an eight to you know whenever thing it's it's sometimes 24 7 you know and, and it's whenever duty calls and so um, we're going to talk about that here in just a minute, but a uh, little background on where I've come from and, and how my career as an entrepreneur has grown and changed over the years. Um, when I got to college, I was always kind of entrepreneurial during uh, my younger years, and, and even in, in high school, I would sell you know those little coupon books that you've probably seen the kids going around and selling coupon books and stuff like that, and so I'd sell books like that for my um, school or my football team. And then when I got to college, I actually got involved um, doing marketing for uh, an energy drink company. And what was cool about that is I did a lot of direct, you know, person-to-person -person sales and things. And really just trying to get people to go to these, these events and parties and things like that. So it's kind of a cool freshman, you know, freshman college student gig. And from there, um, my sophomore year of college, I actually started a fraternity. And what happened... You know, I have had my reasonings for why I started it instead of just joining one. Um, but, you know, at heart, I've always been an entrepreneur. And I think a lot of you are probably like that, too. At heart, you're probably all, um, if you're watching this right now, you probably have some desire to start your own thing or start your own business. And so um, that's how I was. And when I was in my sophomore year of college, um, we basically put together an interest group. And if you're ever starting an organization, sometimes it always starts with just a few people talking about it, right? And those few people get together and they start brainstorming and ideas start coming up and you start working out plans on how to make it happen. And so from there, more people, the, the energy in that small group of people actually attracts more and more people from all these different places because you talk about it and you have something already going, something already happening. And so I would encourage you to actually talk to as many people about your new venture as you can to get them interested. And once you build, develop your, your interest group, it could be five to six to seven people or so. I think ours started out with about six or seven guys. And it grew over time to 15 and then to 20. And what you find sometimes is you'll start losing some people. Just, you know, not, not, that's just how it is. You know, not everybody's going to stick around. They might be interested for some time and then drop off. Um, but that's the, that's was starting with that interest group. So then from there, moving ne another couple of years or so, when I actually left college, I started a pressure washing company uh, for a summer, it lasted all of the summer. And uh, with that pressure washing company, um, you know, learned some things about money and actually ran out of money. <laughs> and so that's why it's no longer around. And from there, started in real estate, doing real estate investing and wholesaling. I actually taught some wholesale investing and stuff like that because I was pretty good at it. And then, um, you know, from there, I actually got into direct sales because um, I needed to learn personally as an entrepreneur I would encourage you to learn sales sales is everything um, sales is the, the, uh, the process of you providing a product or a service and somebody paying you for it and so a sale nothing really happens without sales um, read this book I would encourage you to go out and get secrets to closing the sale by Zig Ziglar he is an amazing coach an amazing teacher the book is like the sales Bible it's incredible and you should read it and actually when I started in direct sales Anytime I would read a page or a chapter of that book before I'd go out and sell, I actually always have a better day uh, because I read it. I, there, you, you cannot read a page in that book without actually taking a tidbit and being able to apply it to your day. So I'd encourage you to go out and get Secrets to Closing the Sale by Zig Ziglar. It's an awesome, awesome book. So now to the topic of what we want to discuss here is as an entrepreneur, 
I can say that there are a lot of tough days. Um, tough days where you're not going to be, you know, my, you, when you're starting out, especially see an entrepreneur, what that, what that really is, is somebody that's starting businesses or starting a business. See, right now I'm involved in starting an internet blogging company and you're probably seeing this video either on my blog at empowernetwork.com backslash Sarah Woodworth or you're either seeing this on another domain or you're seeing it on my YouTube channel. Um, on top of that, uh, using some of the marketing skills that I've been using for my business, I'm actually helping a uh, barbecue restaurant that has been um, known in the area for the last probably 15, 20 years or so, actually starting a new location. And so he's actually asked me to do some of the marketing and to help him uh, get off the ground. I also have a clothing boutique that does high-end clothing out in Los Angeles, California, um, that we've been um, actually helping get their marketing across to the different like different countries out in um, you know, all the way out to China and beyond that, and also a um, spinal care company or a chiro chiropractic office here in the area. And so, dabbling in a lot of things um, is really what entrepreneur entrepreneurs do a lot of um, building companies, and that's what my passion is. And so, dealing with tough days is huge, and how how you respond to those tough days is going to make or break you as an entrepreneur and it's going to be um, a deciding factor in your success or your failure a lot of times and the more times that you deal with failure the more times that you just go ahead and do something and if you fail or not it's fine because you're going to learn from it and that's the whole point is it's a learning process and as an entrepreneur you have to be okay with learning um, and making mistakes sometimes and so what I want to give you is kind of a formula that I've used in my life to be able to deal with those tough days. And so the first is optimism. Uh, you have to be an optimistic person in order to survive uh, just this world, I feel like, but and also to survive the business world. And so what I want to do is, as we talk about these things, you know, you're here for a reason. You're here watching this because maybe you felt uh, like you were having a down day or maybe you maybe you just stumbled upon this video or maybe you actually need a little boost or some encouragement and so maybe after through this video um, I plan on having you up and energized and and ready for you to go forth and to actually create the results that you want to create in your life so fair so what we're gonna do optimism I'm gonna give you a couple of things here it's my dog and so what we're going to do is we're going to actually start um, by, I, I want you to think about all the different successes that you've had. One of the things that I do whenever I am in the process of you know having a bad day or something like that, I actually try to visualize all the different successes that I have had in my past and all the different times that I succeeded or had a breakthrough. I want you right now to actually visualize with me right now, you can close your eyes and do this, but visualize a breakthrough that you've had in your past. And I want you to think about that and think about the feelings that you had when you had that breakthrough. How did it make you feel? How, you know, the energy inside of you, the, the emotion, the passion, the drive, the ideas that were probably coming to your mind when you said, when you, when you had that breakthrough. Imagine those successes, the multitudes of times that you've succeeded and the multitudes of times where you've helped somebody else or you've contributed in some way. I want you to think about those times and really feel, you know, embody those feelings that you had because I want you to allow those to come into your reality right now. So the next thing is focus. And as you focus on those feelings that made you feel good and those breakthroughs that you had and those successes that you've had, what you need to do is focus on what is getting you results right now. Um, I'm going to write that up here, results, because nothing feels better, I have found at least, than having results in your business. Whenever you make a sale, whenever you get a new lead, whenever you uh, come some distance in your business or in your daily life. Now see, even if you're not an entrepreneur, you can apply these as, as you can tell. You know, you probably look, this is something that you can apply to your day-to-day -day life, even in a job. And so 
focus on those results. Whatever gets you the results that you desire, if it's happiness, if it's um, more money, focus on what is making those results in your life. Okay, And then the last thing that is absolutely key, and these two things are good, um, but the third is the key that unlocks everything that you need to be able to accomplish and to move forward and to get through your tough day, and that is take action. Um, I know you may have heard that many, many times, but I tell you, that is the make or break. And here is why. Because when you take action, nine times out of ten, um, you're going to create some sort of result that actually feels good. You're going to create a result that actually gets you further along in the process. Um, you know, before I did this video, actually, it's probably 11 o'clock at night, and I actually just got back from a 45-minute drive to go work with this restaurant. And, and I, you know, so obviously the temptation is there to maybe not make a video that night or to not write up a blog. But I hadn't done that yet today. And so I decided that, okay, let's focus on the results. Let's focus on what makes me feel good. And I know I always feel good with results. So. Um, and then I decided to take action. You know, you just do it. And, and it literally sometimes it's just sitting yourself down. If you're an entrepreneur that does an online business, sitting yourself down in front of the computer and making that video just like you said you would. Stick to your commitments and take action move forward, uh, progress, and I, I, Tony Robbins actually has a lot of videos. Um, you'll find some of them on my blog because I am a big fan of his and, and one of the biggest things that he, he, he teaches is, is progress. Progress will make you feel much better than you ever thought. And so I want to encourage you to take action and to take action on the things that create the results in your life. If you're having trouble just getting yourself to move, then Remind yourself of all the successes that you've had. Remind yourself of all the good times and all the good moments and all the things that made you feel good. Because if you're feeling good, if you're feeling good, then you're going to be more apt to take result or to take action and to um, propel yourself in the way that you want to go. So I don't want to like this any longer. Thank you for watching this. Um, definitely subscribe to my blog if you want more videos like this. Um, you can find me at Woodworth, uh, empowernetwork.com backslash Saren Woodworth. Uh, it's probably somewhere down below this page. And thank you guys. Love you. And we'll see you soon. Yeah.